Hi, I'm Randy Keaton, County Administrator for Alawite County. Over the next few minutes, you will receive information about the current state of affairs in Alawite County. As for treat in October, the Board of Supervisors adopted the county's new motto, a community of choice that cares, and focused attention on its desire for continuous improvement of customer service at all levels of local government. The motto further emphasizes that Alawite County is a community of choice focused on accountability, its rural heritage, excellence, and service. The following information reflects programs and projects that are examples of how the Board of Supervisors' vision is impacting citizens and the county staff is fully engaged in demonstrating that I cares. In information accessibility, it should be noted that the county completed its comprehensive annual financial report for fiscal year ended June 30, 2017 in-house. Additionally, the county reconciled its fixed assets to ensure the fair presentation of its financial reports and improve the oversight of this area. The county also developed a senior resource guide. The senior resources guide was developed by our Parks and Recreation Specialist in cooperation with the Commission on Aging. It provides information about public and commercial services throughout our community. The Economic Development Department has created an 82-acre shovel-ready industrial site in the Shirley T. Holland Intermodal Park that was recognized at both the regional and state level. A shovel-ready site is one that has all permits in place and a new business or developer could begin construction immediately. The Economic Development Department has also been working on collaborative, ongoing efforts for workforce development, including the pursuit of a county certification as an ACT work-ready community. This designation will allow the county to provide greater service to the new and existing business community, as well as to county residents striving to succeed in the workforce. The Tourism Department also received a $10,000 Crush Friday grant recently. This grant will be geared toward attracting the millennial niche demographic, which is a growing market for Smithfield in Isla White County. This past year, the County Tourism Department installed a new Love Works sculpture in the town of Smithfield. This sculpture creates community pride and was designed to be movable so that it can appear at various events throughout the town and the county. In addition, Tourism won a $35,000 mobile responsive website grant. The website will serve as the primary conduit for visitors to Alawite County and the department anticipates much larger digital visitation that will convert to heads and beds and even stronger economic uplift and activity. This past year also brought much success in tourism visitation. The tourism department managed or partnered with local organizations to welcome over 160,000 visitors and garnered 6.4% increases in local and state generated taxes. Several efficiencies were created during the year, which demonstrated the county's excellence and also improved service to our customers. The county's fiscal year 2018-2019 budget was completed on time and was a cooperative effort of all county staff. The county also implemented a program to improve the accuracy and efficiency of erosion and sediment control inspections. Working together, Isle of Wight County Stormwater Management and Geographic Information System offices developed a more accurate and efficient way of determining when erosion and sedimentation inspections are needed at individual construction sites. Using National Weather Service rainfall data and specialized software, staff produced mapping products that pinpointed only those sites receiving enough rainfall to require inspection. The new process keeps our operational costs low, has been in place for over a year, and takes a technician 15 to 20 minutes to complete. It prevents unnecessary inspections and improves accuracy to ensure sites needing inspection are not missed. Cost savings was much on the minds of county staff and administration this past year, resulting in the Budget and Finance Department's successful refunding of older county general obligation bonds. This refund will generate savings and help reduce the county's annual debt service costs. The county EMS department focused on accountability for the use of the county's tax dollars by identifying and obtaining over $14,000 worth of tax credits on volunteer agency utility bills and saved over 
$5,800 annually. The County EMS Department also implemented the EMS Safe Harbor Provision, which was adopted by the Board of Supervisors. The Safe Harbor Provision ensures that emergency medical transport will be available to all citizens regardless of their ability to pay. The County Planning and Zoning Department has also found some additional ways to reduce planning and zoning application fees, thereby reducing the financial burden of development plan review for county citizens and businesses. These cost savings will be phased in in the coming year. This past year, the County Board of Supervisors entered into a new agreement with SIPSA. Through this regional effort, solid waste tipping fees were reduced, saving county taxpayers over a million dollars annually. The County Public Works Division presented administration a plan to bring custodial services back under the county umbrella. This program has not only provided better service, but realized an annual cost savings of $80,000. In addition, the Public Works Division presented administration with a plan to bring generator maintenance services in-house, saving county taxpayers over $250,000 annually. The Utilities Division has now completed the in-house design of the new Lawns Point to Rushmere Shores Waterline Extension. This effort represents a savings in consultant costs of approximately $50,000 to the project's bottom line. This project will be built in fiscal year 19 and will provide a more reliable and treated water source to Rushmere Shores customers. A part of the Board of Supervisors' focus this year was to ensure that staff received appropriate training particularly as it relates to customer service. The county, through its Human Resources Department, provided diversity and inclusion training in partnership with our Employee Assistance Program for all county employees. We provided the training to ensure that all county employees are accountable in being inclusive of diversity and promoting a professional environment for employees to work in and citizens to transact business in. Human Resources also provided customer service training entitled True North with guest facilitator Renee Roundtree of the Isle of Wight Smithfield Windsor Chamber of Commerce, focusing on the county's care mission. The training was provided to ensure all county employees are aware of their accountability to provide customer service in a caring manner and to reinforce our ongoing commitment to customer service excellence. Risk management facilitated the county's Supervisor Safety Development Program within the county's Owl Lead Supervisor Certificate Program, as well as offered various safety training classes for our employees. Risk management coordinated efforts by county departments to administer the county's Confined Space Entry Program and Hazardous Energy Control Program. We want to reiterate the accountability of all employees for a safe and healthy workplace. This past year, the county looked to offer more public services than ever before. The Parks and Recreation Department offered new successful programming, including a cooking camp for youth, enhanced fitness class, and a Valentine's dinner and dance for seniors. Within athletic programming, both youth basketball and youth soccer programs were also filled to capacity, and Adult Spring Softball had the most registered teams they've had in many years. These new programs offer an expansion of choice and customer service to county residents. The County Parks and Rec Department also provided multiple facility upgrades this past year, including new playground items placed at Nike Park. One of these facility upgrades is an expression swing, in which toddlers and parents can swing together. The county also saw the continued development of Tyler's Beach with the solicitation and selection of a contractor to provide design and development of a new park. The County Planning and Zoning Department held over 20 community meetings and conducted two public input surveys to help develop the county's new comprehensive plan. To date, the department has had over 250 citizens participate in the community meetings and received over 1,100 survey responses. The department also developed a comprehensive plan project website and have utilized social media extensively to post regular project updates. The Nike Park Trail is currently under construction. When completed, this long-awaited project will add an enjoyable amenity for all residents in Isle of Wight County. 
the County Public Utilities Department has implemented an improved fire protection program that will now bring all of the public hydrants in league with national fire safety standards. This past year, the County Stormwater Division began holding stormwater advisory committee meetings in an effort to educate citizens, provide public outreach, and gain direct input from county residents in relation to the direction of the stormwater program. And finally, the Stormwater Division has also managed the construction of several new stormwater facilities at Heritage Park, Windsor High School, and Rushmere Volunteer Fire Department. These projects provide proper groundwater management for county-owned facilities. And now, let's hear some final thoughts from Randy Keaton, our county administrator. This past year, the county received many accolades, including the County Budget and Finance Department receiving the Distinguished Budget Presentation Award for the county's annual budget for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2017. The Economic Development Department was awarded a $30,000 Community Development Block Grant to fund an adaptive reuse study for the 25-acre former James River Christian Academy property on Ben's Church Boulevard. Some of the proposed uses include residential, business incubation, education, recreation, and other community facilities. The County Human Resources Department managed the county's employees giving campaign for 2018 for United Way of South Hampton Roads, which resulted in an increase for the fourth consecutive year. The department also sponsored and led a holiday toy drive for the fourth consecutive year for children served by the Isle of Wight County Department of Social Services. The County Parks and Rec Department took home many awards for the county fair, including County Fair Best in Category. By taking home seven blue ribbons in various categories, the Isle of Wight County Fair was awarded Best overall for the attendance category of 7,000 to 30,000 in the state of Virginia. In tourism, the Director of Marketing and Public Relations Manager received the Virginia Destination Professional Certification. The Virginia Destination Professional Certification is a rigorous program that designates its recipients as top tier in their profession. Based on the information presented, I believe you will agree with me that the state of Isle of Wight County is excellent. The Board of Supervisors has provided a vision that will strategically position the county for success and county staff is fully focused on implementing programs that demonstrate to citizens and customers that Isle of Wight County is a community of choice focused on accountability, its rural heritage, excellence, and service. So remember that Isle cares.